十三到十五條又係睇族譜啦，咁多位同學仔，今次呢，就講個基因遺傳病，就由一對嘅等位基因咧控制住嘅，咁啊睇返呢個家庭嘅遺傳呢，會係如何咯？白色呢，就係冇病，黑色呢，就有病，今次題目就問啦。六號呢個女仔啊，有病嘅女仔嘅表現型係能夠啦，用下面 A、B、C、D 咧邊一句説話去解釋呢？咁我開咗個頭俾你嘅，就係阿六號女啊，佢係呢，由佢嘅父母呢去接收咗一個有病嘅阿 Leo。咁但係呢個阿 Leo 係喺邊樹㗎？咁你見到啦，答案呢有三類型嘅。第一類型呢，就係個 o t t o s m 頭廿二對嘅染色體 ，B 呢，就係由 Y c h r o m o s o m 而 C 同 D 呢，就係講 X c h r o m o s o m 嘅。所以兩 s 呢都預備咗兩個思考邏輯俾你哋，一個呢就係以頭嗰廿二對嘅 chromosome 做理解，去到最後尾呢就用返個 x chromosome 做理解。咦，咁點解你唔用 y chromosome 嘅？陣間你就知道啦。咁啊，先解決第一款嘅思考邏輯啦，用返無中生有三角形啦。兩 s 提到口臭㗎啦，一二六啦，咁啊 OK 嘅呢三個係咪無中生有啊？冇病冇病就生有病啊嘛，系咪？咁啊睇返啦，一號二號呢，正常人嚟嘅，佢哋起碼有一個正常嘅等位基因，正常啦。跟住啊，我六號女呢，佢就有病嘅，咁啊即係話啦，佢由阿一同阿二號呢，起碼呢係接收咗一個有病嘅等位基因，合理啦。咁即係話啦，阿一同阿二是但一個人呢，就係、是、一個集合型。而喺一個集合型嘅情況底下，就只有顯性嘅等位基因能夠表現到，所以正常嘅等位基因呢，就係顯性，而有病嘅等位基因呢，就係隱性。嗱，有咗啲基本概念先。其實解到嚟呢度呢，你都會發現啦 ，A 呢已經係正確，就係、是、阿一同阿二呢對父母呢，其實就各自俾咗一個有病嘅。阿 Leo 阿六號女啦，所以佢就係一個純合型嘅隱性。咁當然啦，有啲體育精神搞掂埋 B、C、D 佢啦。如果唔係兩 Sir 點解會寫埋其他嘅演繹俾你哋睇呢？係咪 ？B 之所以錯，錯係錯在 Y c o m o s o m 佢就話啦，阿六號呢個女仔呢。係會由老豆嗰樹去接收一個 Y c o m o s o m 你玩我咩？有 Y c o m o s o m 已經係男仔啦，但係你女仔嚟噶嘛？唔通 she 係個 boy 咩？所以啦 ，female 根本係冇 Y c o m o s o m 嘅，所以啦 ，boy 咧一二三四，所以 boy 呢係錯得最交關嘅。跟住去到 C 同 D 啦，喂，弊喎兩 Sir， 佢係咪性連鎖呢？我都真係唔知㗎喎。示範一次俾你睇啊！繼續用返無中生有三角形，今次呢就講咗啊六號女先。一個有病嘅女仔，咁所以啦，佢起碼有一個 effect a l l e l 正常啦，係咪啊？跟住就睇下老豆咯，老豆係一個正常男人 ，X normal， 楞住一個 Y c o m o s o m 正常啦，係咪？咁即係話啦，呢、這個 X 嘅 normal 嘅 c o m o s o m 咧就會落咗去阿女個船，咁即係話啦，喺阿女嘅呢個情況底下咧，佢咪集合型啊，既有一個 effect a l l e l on X c o m o s o m 亦都有一個 normal a l l e l on X c h r o m o s o m 咁即係有病嘅 a l l e l 呢，就係、是、多問人咯，係咪啊？咁可能你會話啦，我唔信，咁啊又睇一睇啦。咁啊女嘅呢一個 e f f e c t a l l e l 呢，既然唔係由老豆嚟，一定係由阿媽嗰邊嚟啦。咁你又睇下啦，咦阿媽，原來你都係集合型嘅，咁特別嘅。但阿媽如果呢個集合型，但阿媽你正常人喎，咁即係喺個 X c h r o m o s o m 嘅正常嘅等位基因先係多問人喎。誒、哎、大鑊，究竟係有病係多問人，定係正常先係多問人啊？呢幅圖呢，係搞到你傻傻分不清啊！所以根據性連鎖嘅邏輯呢，其實佢係自相矛盾嘅，亦都唔能夠作為答案啦。所以我呢度嘅解説就係話，六號女呢，佢必然係由父母親嗰處呢獲得一條嘅 X c h r o m o s o m 但係其實佢係 fit 唔到嗰個顯性同埋隱性嘅等位基因嘅測試嘅。Question 1 3 t o 1 5 refer to the pedigree below, which shows the inheritance of a certain genetic defect controlled by a pair of the allele. The blank one, they are the normal individuals, and the shaded one, they are the affected individuals. So for the phenotype of individual sex affected female, can be explained by the fact that this individual received a defective allele on. So there are three types of answers in A, B, C, D. There are three types of answer. Autosome from the first to the twenty-second pairs of chromosome. Y chromosome and X chromosomes. There are two thinking logics Mr. Lam prepare for you. First one is the autosome analyst, and the second logic is X link analyst. So you may ask that why there is no Y chromosome linkage analyst. I will tell you later. So let's take a look at the first thinking logic, autosome analyst. Like before, 
we use the out of nothing triangle to pick up the individuals one, two, six, this family for our analyze first. For individuals one and two, they are normal individuals, so that means they have at least one normal allele. And for the individual sex affected female receive at least one affected allele from either individual one or two. That also makes sense. So that's why either individuals one or two is heterozygous. Any heterozygous condition, only dominant characteristic is expressed. So that's why normal allele is dominant allele. And affected allele is a recessive allele. That's the basic idea first. And then we can know that option A is correct because both of the parent will give the recessive allele to individual sex to make her a homozygous recessive individual. Okay, so what about the options B, C, D? For option B, individual sex receive a defective allele on the Y chromosome from father. This answer is absolutely wrong because individual Y, she is a female. And for the female, how could they receive the Y chromosome from the father? If it were the case, individual sex would be the male instead of female, right? So that's why option B is wrong. And for option C and D, let's use the X linkage analyze. We also use the out of nothing triangle to choose family individuals one, two, six. So for the individual two, normal male, he must have at least one normal allele on the X chromosome and the Y chromosome. That means he must give the normal allele on the X chromosome to the affected female. That means individual sex. So that means individual sex, she must be the heterozygous individual. And in heterozygous condition, only dominant characteristic is expressed. That's why affected allele on the X chromosome is dominant. However, is it correct? Let's take a look here. The affected allele on X chromosome must be passed from the normal female, from mother. So that means individual one, mother, who is the normal female? And she is also heterozygous condition. But what does it mean? It means that the normal allele on the X chromosome can be expressed because she is a normal female. So which case is correct? From the individual sex, we know that the affected allele on X chromosome should be dominant. But for the individual one, we should conclude that the normal allele on X chromosome is the dominant allele, is contradictory, right? So that's why option C and D, there is a must for the individual sex to receive the X chromosome from each parent. However, it doesn't fit the dominant and recessive allele analyze.